make a video of this skirt. Yes, there was a time in my life when I really enjoyed uh, night photography classes. Photography is another hobby of mine that I enjoy to do from time to time, and especially night photography. It just happened that I ended up having lots of images from my night photography, which, which I'm going to show now. I decided to print them out on the fabric. There's this website, it's called Bag of Love, uh, where you can print any of your photos on different type of materials. I think I will lay it on the floor now for you to show guys. Wow, it is so exciting to see my own work laying here on the floor. Every single detail is just amazing. I took this picture, I am so proud. So these two panels, I think they are 140 centimeters something wide and uh, 50 centimeters length, so they will become a skirt. First, I cut the white edges off that doesn't have a print on, so it looks more straight. Then, I make an underskirt, the same size as skirt widths, however, an inch shorter because it shouldn't be visible. Then I cut out the waistline. You choose yourself what the waistline length and width should be for your skirt. The best thing is to measure your waistline first with a tape measure, then add a couple of inches extra and cut. Okay, so here are all ready pieces. Um, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to my sewing machine and I'm going to join these two parts together. I'm going to use black thread for it and then I'm going to join these two underskirt parts together. I will try to use an overlocker with white thread for it and then this is the belt which I'm going to join to the skirt itself later. So all sides are joined now together. Actually, I just realized that I forgot to make allowance for a zip, which I'm going to do later. It doesn't matter really, I will fix it. But for future reference for you guys, always make allowance for a zip, okay? Next, I'm gathering the skirt by hand first, attaching underskirt and skirt by the waistline together. The way I've done, measured the gathering and the uh, waist of the skirt, half skirt actually. I just measured uh, thread the same length as my waist band, yeah. So my next step, what I'm going to do is run over with the sewing machine over these gathers so they stay in place. So this is approximate how the skirt will look like. Oh, I'm so excited. Then I attach the belt by hand first to make sure everything fits right. I didn't use any double layers for the belt. One layer of fabric is enough to keep the shape. What I have done now, I have attached by hand sewing a belt to this skirt and then I'm going to run it over with the sewing machine. Yeah. Also, I will have to unpick this seam allowance a little bit, maybe down to here, because we need to insert the zip. Now, 
now I will have to um, take out this thread. Oh yes, it turned out quite well. That's really good. I love it. Good. That's it. I'm going to have a break now. <laughs> So one of my friends, she's watching my YouTube channel and one time when we talked on the phone, she said, Anna, you appear so different on your videos. You appear way too nice. And then I was thinking about it. I was like kind of started to think for a moment about it. Why is it like that? And then I realized I am just relaxed. This is it. You know, I am at my home. My home is my serenity, it's uh, my cave. I feel very relaxed, there is nobody annoying to annoy me, so, but don't be deceived. Okay guys, what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to attach the belt, and this is how I have attached, attached it. I'm doing it by hand first, and then I will run it over with the sewing machine. So, this is the belt, it's all done, and I have inserted the belt now of the Zigna. Yes. Now what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run with the sewing machine over the zip, and then work on these corners here. Yeah, this is how it looks on the outside. Obviously just sewn in by hands. Okay, the zip is inserted now. And all I've got left to do is to run this seam. I do this seam as close as possible to the belt so it's not going to be that visible. Also, I will need to uh, do a hem at the edge of the skirt and that will be it really. The skirt is finished. This is the belt. I have attached it with the seam down there. As you can see, this is the edge of the skirt and this is the edge of on the skirt. As you can see, it's shorter. Yes, and my next step is somehow to attach this string of lights inside the skirt. Isn't it crazy? At first, when I received this fabric, I was a little bit upset that it was it was a little bit thin. But then, what I realized when I put this light underneath, now that I'm going to show you, and I switch it on, you can see the lights underneath that. That means that I don't have to make holes in the fabric. This is really awesome. I still have no idea how it's going to turn out. And somehow, I need to attach this one somewhere around the belt area. I forgot to make a pocket for it, <laughs> of course, typical. Anyways, so I'll see you guys after I finished attaching it. I think it's going to be way too much for me to film all process while I'm still trying to figure out what to do myself. So guys, I am in the middle of attaching the string and I was so worried that uh, it will turn out kind of bulky or something, but it turns out so awesome. So these are little knots that I attach the string with. There is no particular order whatsoever. And I will just turn around and show you. I don't think you'll be able to see it this way, but I will switch off the light and you'll be able to see. One second, let me just go and switch off the light. Ta-da! Wow, it turns out so awesome. I can see the reflection. Actually, I will show you in the reflection how cool it looks like. I am so impressed myself, seriously. Okay, guys, so you weren't really thinking that I would just end this video without showing you how I have attached the switch. Yes, I should have probably just created a pocket, but I didn't. Yeah, I just attached it afterwards. This is the zip and I cut out a little piece of fabric from the same piece that I made a belt from and uh, it's very cool fabric because it doesn't thread, it doesn't shred on the sides so it's very easy to work with and I just literally hand sew it to the inside of the belt a little bit. Yeah, this is how it looks on the other side. 
not very visible not the best lighting here right now so i hope you enjoyed the video guys give me some love subscribes all the best to you bye bye